I have a sample of chlorinated water here that I'm going to do a DPD-1 test on for free chlorine on the, um, on the photometer. So what I've got here is a blank. This is just a sample of this chlorinated water. I'm not going to add a DPD-1 tablet to that. That's just going to go in to the photometer when I'm ready to test it to zero it. So for the actual um, test itself, what you do is draw off some, some water and rinse out a test tube a couple of times. And what you need to do is just leave a few drops of water in the bottom. And then into that, you add a DPD-1, a DPD-1 tablet without touching it with your fingers, which would take the sample. And have a look at the color, kind of deep pink color. So we know that there's chlorine in there. Crush the tablet up into just that little bit of water in there. So it's gonna, it's a very, very dark color. And then what you do is you top that up to the 10 mil, to the 10 mil mark, observing the color as you do so. And what you'll see, hopefully, is that the, it's gone clear. Let's carry on mixing it up. A little bit of, tiny bit of pink has remained, but it's gone very, very clear now, or very much lighter. something's not right there. If we put that in the photometer, it would probably be quite a low reading that we'd get back. So let's put the blank, the blank in the photometer so we can zero it. And then put the actual sample in. Let's see what we've got. It says 0 0.65, but because of that bleaching effect that we saw, we can't, we know that that's inaccurate because uh, we, 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 when we only had just a few drops of water, we saw a very deep, very, very dark pink, and we actually observed the water bleaching. We, we observed the water bleaching the DPD-1 tablet as we added it up to 10 mil. So what we need to do is do a dilution test. Now, in order to do that, you need one of these beakers. So it goes up to 100 mil, but what we're only going to use 10 mil. And we're going to top the rest of it up with distilled water. So what you do is rinse out a beaker and then top it up to the 10 mil mark. So that's the chlorinated water, 10 mil. And then the rest of it, we're gonna to top up with deionized water.
up to 100 mil. So only 10% of this is the original sample. So what we're going to do is draw off a sample of the diluted water and um, rinse out a test tube a couple of times. And again, just leave a few drops of water there. Put a DPD-1 tablet in and um, crush that. Observe the colour of the water with the tablet in, go, go in a pink colour. And then top that up to the 10 mil mark with the diluted sample. Again, observe the colour. And it's not quite 10 mil. What you can see is that it's a pink, a pink color. Now this, I'll compare it to the, this one is the undiluted one. This one's the diluted one. It looks like that one's got much more chlorine in, but we know that actually that one has got 10 times more chlorine in than that one. It only looks like there's not very much chlorine in there because of the bleaching effect that's taken place. So let's take a reading with, with this one and um, see what we get. So it's, get a blank, get it on zero, and then put the sample in and get a reading. And what we've got here is, I hope you can see that, 4.02. Now, if I show you just the side of this. Now we we had it with 10 mil of the original uh, pool, sam uh, pool water sample, the chlorinated water sample. We only used 10 mil. The rest of it we used distilled water. Now on the side of the beaker it's got this dilution factor. That's how much you need to multiply that result by to find out how much chlorine how much chlorine is in that water. So because we used because we used 10 mil, we need to multiply it by by 10. Obviously, if you were diluting up to 20 mil, then you'd be multiplying by five. If you were diluting up to only 50 mil then you don't only multiply by by two, but we've, we need to times by 10. So that means there's basically 40, 40 parts per million in that, in, that, in that water, which made the DPD tablet go that color. That's the original sample. You can see it's completely, almost, it's very, very, very faint pink. So that's what 40, parts per million will do to a DPD-1 tablet. It could make you think that you've got a very low level of chlorine. Because one other thing I want to point out to you, and you'll have to take my word for this, is that this smells nothing like chlorine. There's no, there's no smell coming off it at all. Um, because it's not really, it's not free chlorine. I know there's not much combined chlorine in this, 
um, because it's the combined chlorine that smells of chlorine, not the free chlorine. So 40 parts per million, and there's literally no chlorine smell coming from it. So smell, uh, a chlorine smell, is actually no indicator that you've got um, an appropriate level of chlorine. Uh, in fact, a chlorine smell is a good indicator that you've got high levels of combined chlorine, which is not a good thing. So that's how to perform a bleaching uh, a test when you've got a situation where the, an excess amount of chlorine in the water is actually bleaching out the colour of the DPD-1 tablet. You basically dilute it with one of these beakers and you multiply the result you get with the photometer by the appropriate factor as given on the side of the, um, the test beaker.